Hi, wheels are one of the six simple machines. I thought today we'd have a look at drawing four different kinds of wheels so that you can use those skills in your design, STEM or engineering classes. Hey, let's start off with a wooden wheel, a center, and then a small piece of wood that the wheel spins on is called an axle. Draw your wheel lightly at first and then come back and with one dark circle, firm in your line. Let's draw some wood grain made by just some light lines coming across like that. Cool. Now we're going to draw one in 3D. So grab your splat and use a left splat line. Pick a starting point and line up the marks on your small ellipse along that line and darken that in. Those lines are called minor axis marks. Now the minor axis marks on the big one, I'm going to center on that one. It's actually easier if you draw the little one first to get it in the middle. There we go. So we're using a big ellipse and the axle looks a little bit too big. So I'm going to pick the same shape, but draw it a bit smaller. That's much better. So that's where my axle will be. Let's draw a cylinder now. I'm going to line up the original ellipse and slide it along and draw just half the ellipse that's further away from me. Let's join those two ellipses with some lines. And there's a cylinder. Looks pretty much like a cylinder until we add a little bit of wood grain. Now we're looking at a wooden wheel for sure. You can, if you want, use the splat to actually darken in the outsides of your drawing. Remember the darkest line is right around the outside. We call it the cutting line. There we go. Add a wood grain. Don't get too carried away. A little bit's better than too much. So there's my isometric wooden wheel. If you were drawing something, uh, designing a machine, you needed wheels on different angles, then the splat allows you to draw cylinders and therefore wheels on the three different axes shown here. Uh, so we're moving over to truck wheel. I've changed your pen because it's a bit easier for you guys to see. All right, so large circle. Now this is the inside of the tire and the tire sits on something called a rim. So uh, the rims held on to the truck with lots of bolts and um, here's the bolts. And maybe one right in the middle, looks very trucky. Here's the tread which rolls around the outside of the tire and you can maybe see a little bit. All right, what's it look like in 3D? Let's start off with an isometric line, a left splat, and we'll line up the marks on the small ellipse. We'll center this one on the same mark. So that's our large ellipse and draw in that whole ellipse. Now as before, we're going to replace it and slide it up and to the left, not too wide, and just half the ellipse. Join those up. Nice. When I'm drawing anything for the first time, I always draw it in pencil. And when I'm happy with the drawing, I might choose to come back and darken it in, or even use a texture or a felt marker and as I'm doing here. All right, so I'm going to firm in or darken in the outside of the drawing as well as the inside of the tire, but that one I'm not darkening in. I'm using that circle on the inside as a guideline for the wheel nuts. And then I'll use an eraser to take that off. Okay, so what about some tread? Trucks need some pretty deep and heavy duty tread. I'm going to put some marks across the top. Uh, three or four should do. And then I'm going to slide the splat to the first mark, the second mark, the third mark to give me some grooves. And in between the grooves, I'm going to draw a zigzag line. Have a close look at a truck tire next time you see one parked. The trick with adding detail like this is that you use either a finer pen or a little bit lighter on the pencil. 
Um, little details aren't as heavy. All right, what I'm drawing here is a shape that's going to be a reflection. That reminds me not to colour in so dark. The light shining on top of the tyre leaves a little light patch and it kind of makes it look roundy. Now I'm darkening in, but remember when we're shading cylinders that we go a little bit darker and fade towards the middle. And that makes the cylinder look curved as well. A little bit darker next to the rim. So you can see I've got my reflection and I've got my tread. Hey presto. All right, so what about a bike wheel? Let's look so now we'll add another circle inside that one and that's the tyre that we've drawn so far. A little piece of metal that the tyre sits on is called a rim and in the middle it's a hub. Thin pieces of wire called spokes are what's used to join the hub to the rim. You can just draw them like that, side on's much easier. If it's an off-road bike you might want to add some little knobby details like that. All right, here we go, in isometric. We're going to start off with our ellipse, which is really a circle in isometric. We're going to add our tyre to the outside this time, not the inside, because it just looked a bit too small. When you're adding these knobbies, notice that they disappear at the back. You can't quite see them so easily at the back because they're hidden. Um, but right around the outside, you might see a little bit of detail, so you can run that all the way around. I'm drawing a little cylinder here, that represents my hub. Okay, let's talk about the spokes. If that's my hub and there's my tire, the spokes actually attach to each side of the hub making a triangle because it's really a strong shape. Let's do the same here. I'm going to pick a spot and then join it to each side of the hub. Same. Pick a spot on the wheel, on the tire, and then draw a line to each side and work your way around like that. Some racing bikes have super strong spokes and then have a few because really the less spokes, the less um, air you're grabbing. It'll be easier to ride. But if you want an old school, just add some more lines. So here we have a pink rubber tyre and this black line represents the rim that you can see. It's hidden at the top, so just a thin line there. Darken the outside of your drawing if you like. And now for the advanced, let's do a super high-tech sports car wheel. We'll start off with a circle and we're going to draw a line very close to it. These tyres are very light and they have thin uh, rubber. Now we're going to draw a rim and a hub. Let's plan where we're going to put the spokes. Now these spokes are made out of metal, they're cast into shape. I'm using five, you could go six or seven. Five lets me draw in a bit more detail. Each side of my centre line I'm drawing a spoke and I've got mine tapered. You could draw any shape you like, so design your own what's called mag wheels. I'm drawing a little slot on the inside of my spokes and I'm planning my reflections. That one touches the line and it touches the top line. Okay, they're not both on the outside. Look closely at that. So the top reflection touches the top and the bottom reflection touches the rim. Let's add some yellow for my mag wheels. I think they used to be made out of magnesium, maybe aluminium alloy these days. So 3D, here we go. We're going to draw a cylinder. Just draw half at the back, it saves rubbing out. And join it up. You guys have draw this really lightly, this is basically a guideline. So that's the rim. Let's draw the tyre on the outside of that. Remember I said that these ones are really skinny tyres? They corner better. So let's draw it, copy that one at the back. I'm going to connect these with a line. I can tidy these lines up later when I colour it in. So that's looking really good. Let's pick a centre and draw a small ellipse and that's going to be my hub. Now the rim. Let's draw really as close as you can to that ellipse. Draw in your rim. Now let's uh, draw the spokes. Remember we had one straight up and down and then two leaning out, two at the bottom. Now I'm drawing, I'm thickening up the spokes. They get a little bit thinner as they get towards the outside. And in this design I've put some slots. Extra bit of detail on the rims. Now it's time to fix it up 
Use a rule for the straight lines. Nice and tidy. Now, um, we're shading what's called rendering to make it look more 3D. I'm going to leave my highlights there, really skinny for skinny wheels, but they make a big difference. So I'm going to darken in the front there. And just like a cylinder, I'm shading from the outside in. I'm making my mag wheels look um, yellow and that gray is inside. If you wanna make it a little bit fancier, then let's rub that out and draw a round disc in disc brakes. It's called the rotor. And what grabs that or clamps it is called the caliper. And there they are shown in red. There's the rest of the disc just in a gray lead pencil. To make it stand out, use some black right around the outside of that. 